Hey everyone, welcome to part two of my crafting on the go series. Um, coming at you from a hotel room in Salina, Kansas. Um, we made it to Colorado, Utah, Arizona with a detour to New Mexico, but unfortunately we had to cut um, the California portion of our trip out because um, hotel costs were way more than we anticipated since we're traveling with the dogs the the pet fees were you know pretty much almost doubling our hotel costs especially the further west that we got so we'll plan another trip either later this year or next year to california um but with that being said i'm gonna do um a scrapbook page for uh, our first stop, which was Colorado. It was a, the probably the most beautiful state I've ever seen. My husband and I absolutely fell in love with it. And um, I have a lot of pictures, too many pictures to show you guys, but I'll, I'll, I'll put up as many as I can. So hang in there and uh, I'll be right back to get started. Thanks. So I had purchased this album at Hobby Lobby to be able to scrapbook while I was on the road. But the reality is that this book is going to be way too small for all of the pictures that I printed and the layouts that are in here are impractical because of the sizes of the pictures and the orientation. So I am going to go ahead and, and complete this book for this trip, um, but at some point I'm going to have to... Um, go back and do a 12 by 12 scrapbook because I have so many pictures. Um, and uh, we stopped at a Walgreens along the way um, and I was able to print pictures. So I pre-cut some of them to fit the layouts in the book. And I pulled out the pages that uh, I thought uh, fit the Colorado landscapes. So I'm going to be scrapbooking these pages here and I'm going to start with die cutting the word Colorado and I'm not going to um, tape it on or anything because I'm just going to do it freehand on my, uh, on my uh, page. And um, if you'll notice, I put some purple tape around the table. That's just to help keep me in frame. Uh, and I apologize for the lighting. Um, oh, let me make sure this is in place. Uh, so as you know, I'm in a motel room and uh, the lighting is not very good in here. So, okay. I'm going to use um, my pokey tool to get all these letters out. And um, on my last video, I realized that this uh, Sizzix um, die set, letter die set, um, didn't have the letter V. And as I was uh, looking for the Colorado letters, I decided to check the whole alphabet and I'm missing two other letters. So I'm pretty disappointed about that. Um, but um, I had enough O's for Colorado, a bunch of A's and things like that. So, I mean, I was missing the letter Q and uh, y. So I'm missing V, Q, and Y. Okay, so I punched all the uh, letters for the word Colorado out of the die, and I'm going to go ahead and um, place them on this sheet. So, as I said before, I'm just going to um, freehand them here. And, um, I 
have a problem concentrating and talking at the same time. Anyway, I think it's easier if I just use my hands. So we had a really, really good time on this trip. Um, we fell in love with Colorado and uh, we definitely want to come back at some point. Um, because of the elevations, uh, there was one day where we all got sick, including the dogs. Um, oh, I put glue on the wrong side of the L. <laughs> anyway, um, we went to a town called Silverton, which is a beautiful old town. Um, there are homes there that were built in the 1800s. And um, the... Uh, the, 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 the whole town was completely surrounded by mountains. So no matter where you were, you had a view of mountains. It was beautiful. And um, they had some old hotels, again, from the 1800s. And um, because we had the dogs with us, we were limited, you know, to the places where we could stay. A lot of the places were not pet friendly. But we did find a motel. It was called... Oh my gosh, I can't remember what it was called. But um, we were afraid when we saw, you know, the, the motel because it, it wasn't like the greatest exterior. But we were really pleasantly surprised when we went in the room. It was, um, it had been recently remodeled. So the floors were new. Everything was new, basically. Um, so we had a really good stay there. And uh, we enjoyed the town. Um, we were supposed to go on a, on a, on a overland trip on these trails that my husband watches, uh, YouTubers that, um, do overland trips. And we were going to go on a trail called, uh, Cinnamon Pass, but we got the information crossed. It's a one-way trail and, um, it started in um, Lake City and it's one way and it ended at Silverton. <laughs> so what we did was we went to Silverton thinking that we could um, do the trail once we hit Silverton, but then we found out it was a one way trail. So it didn't make sense for us to drive, like I think it was three hours to go back to Lake City and then it would have been another two to three hours or more to complete the trail, end up in Silver. Oh, that was a lot of glue. End up in Silverton and then have to drive back, uh, back through um, Colorado to head for Utah. So we scrapped the Cinnamon Pass idea, but uh, we plan to do it again. As I said, we definitely want to go back and this time we'll start out at Lake City and uh, we'll start out at Lake City and then do the trail. Um, but uh, on this particular page, uh, I don't have a picture for because all of the pic most of the pictures I took I, I uh, were horizontal so I want to get a vertical picture that I can put here and then I picked out a bunch of the uh, ephemera that that um, I had brought with me and, and went through it all and picked out um, the ones that I thought would best suit this trip and let me see we have explore the wilderness um, Great Outdoors, I like the way this one looks, go outside, so I'm going to go with that, I think it matches really well. So I'm going to go ahead and put this down. Anyway, so um, that happened to us, and um, like I said, uh, I think we were almost 10,000 feet above sea level. And so we wound up getting headaches and upset stomachs and 
um, just feeling tired because you don't get as much oxygen as you normally do in the lower elevation. So if you're not used to it, you get sick. And it's funny because when we arrived in Colorado and we went to the welcome center, the lady there asked us where we were headed and we told her Silverton. And she said to my husband, oh, a lot of people get sick. And we were like, yeah, whatever. And sure enough, we all got sick. Even the dogs got sick. So let me get this out of the way so I have more space to work. And I didn't need this because I freehanded it. But I think that turned out okay. Anyway, so um, I put that there. And then I have this picture. But uh, nah, I'm not going to use it. I'm not even going to show you to. It didn't turn out very well. <laughs> sorry about that but anyway like I said I'll do um, some journaling here and I'll go through some pictures um, other pictures that I didn't print because I just printed a handful of pictures at a Walgreen along the way and so I didn't print anything that um, once I started going through the album I didn't print anything that would fit well here except for this one picture but I trimmed it for another layout so what I'll do like I said is I'll do I'll do a, a four by six photo like this something along those lines and then I'll just do a, you know a little journaling here most likely the date and um, the towns that we went through so that'll be that for that page all right so that's that um, I don't know if I really want to put anything else in here because I don't want to cover up that picture so I'll leave it at that and then um, for this page I cut um, this picture it's a picture of me and my husband um, this was we were just driving along and there was a scenic lookout of some waterfalls i mean the picture doesn't do it justice but it was called i believe treasure falls and this is the the waterfall right back here and then it ran down into like a, a big creek that flowed this way and under the wall it was beautiful so um i cut this i uh cut this picture to go on this uh particular spread here oops and uh, we were actually um, like I said driving and we saw the scenic route and so we pulled over and we were so pleasantly surprised by what we saw and there was this really nice couple there and we took pictures of each other, you know, like they took pictures of us, we took pictures of them. And um, so it turned out really well. We had an, a nice time talking to them for a while. So, oh, I thought I had cut another picture this size, but I don't seem to have one. I misjudged anyway I think I'm gonna put this one here I'm gonna put this one here and I'll try to put a piece of ephemera or something below it to cover the gap I'm gonna try to get even spacing Now I have too much space on one side. Okay. That looks good. Let's see what we got here. I uh, don't like the way that looks. Great outdoors. Huh. 
this could work. Let's see. Oh, perfect. I will put that there. Well, anyway, um, this was a town um, that we passed along the way. And like I said, in the towns, most of the towns you drive through, no matter where you go, you have a view of the mountains in Colorado. It's beautiful. So... Explore. Dreams of faraway places. Collect beautiful moments. one's sitting right in front of my face I'm gonna go ahead and use that it always it says always take the scenic route and uh, both these places were long scenic routes actually so perfect these are um, these pieces here are um, from a Tim Holtz uh, package that I bought. Um, they're like chipboard pieces. And I wonder if I should put something on the top. Maybe enjoy the journey. Let me leave it like that for now. Maybe I'll come back to it. Um, for this page, there are so many different um, landscapes in Colorado. So I figured I would do um, some of one of each type of landscape that we saw. So. Um, there were still a lot of snow-capped mountains. It was beautiful. So we, we took a lot of pictures of the snow-capped mountains. Um, and then, um, so I pre-cut these pictures to have like an eighth of an inch border. Then you had a lot of red rock um, scenery. So I took that picture and a bunch of others. Let me try to get this space evenly here. Anyway, like I said, this album, you know, it's cute and it, it's it's good for what um for this purpose, doing it on the road, it was small. I was able to bring it with me. But like I said, I have so many uh, pictures that I took and that my husband took that eventually were, were um, I'm gonna have to do a 12 by 12 book for this trip. Um, and then there were mountains with uh, water views. And I have all of the, the locations, um, like, you know, when you take the picture, it automatically puts the location for you. So at some point I'm gonna go back and uh, put the locations of each of these pictures and, and the date that we were there. Um, so it was really beautiful. So and then the pine trees, this picture here is of the pine trees. The pine trees were amazing. They were so tall. They were so tall. I probably should have saved the always take the scenic route for this uh, 
this always take the scenic route for here for this page it probably made more sense but I already put it there so let's see um, these are all gonna be too big I think unless I put something in the middle uh, like this but I think that kind of detracts from the pictures so what shall I put here um, this is too big go see explore maybe enjoy the journey I'll put that should I put it on top yeah I'll do it on top I'll do enjoy the journey Anyway, so um, today was our first day um, on our drive back towards home. And as I said earlier, we're in Kansas. And let me tell you, Kansas did not disappoint in terms of uh, <laughs> the Wizard of Oz and tornadoes and things like that. Um, all along the drive, we had torrential rain that might, we could barely see the road. We had hail, probably the size of golf balls. Thank God that we were at a gas station at that point and we were able to stay under the awning and not sustain any damage to our car. And then as we were driving, we had um, tor uh, tornado watch warnings popping up on our phones and buzzing on the car's GPS. It was really scary. It got dark, it got windy. Um, and like I said, it was raining like crazy. So we were like, where's the wizard when you need him? You know, it was crazy. We had really, at one point we were like, we were thinking about just like staying under an, un an underpass or something, but I mean, everybody else stayed driving, so we figured we would too. But um, I think this looks good here. Never stop exploring. So again, like I said, there were so many different landscapes. So we had ice caps, we had red rocks, we had water views, the, 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 wood, the pines on the, it was incredible beautiful beautiful if you get a chance to go definitely and then um this is a picture of myself and my husband that we took near a, a beautiful creek and so i figured that would go nicely on this page and uh i'm trying to be be uh, quiet and not so enthusiastic because my husband was tired he did about nine hours of driving today so he already fell asleep and uh, I'm trying to get this done and be quiet about it <laughs> so. so that's a picture there we have to maybe put something here uh, let me see, collect beautiful, oh, I like this. Just one life. Go see and explore. Maybe something like that, something different. And maybe make your own path. Mm. I think that'll work for right now. No, I like this. So I'll put this here.
so even the dogs are snoring in the background. I don't know if you can hear them. <laughs> uh, they, they were fun to travel with, though. Like I said, the hotels really take advantage uh, with the pet fees. You know? Some of them wanted to charge $50 per pet. And we're traveling with two big ones. And... Um, then a lot of places wouldn't take dogs if they were over 40 pounds. Both of our dogs are almost 100 pounds each. Um, so we had some issues. Um, we kind of just winged this trip. Um, we had been planning to do the trip for a while and we said we were definitely going to do it this spring. But we really hadn't like moved on making any plans. And then we had a, a situation with our family, an unfortunate situation. Um, my brother-in-law's mother passed away in an unexpected way. And so we just kind of, you know, we were talking with him and whatever. And he was like, you know what? Tomorrow's never promised. And so we just decided to go and we had no hotel reservations done. We had nothing. So, uh, we just went ahead and did it. And we had this amazing trip. Let me see. So we have both of these pages that I really don't think I can put pictures on. But, um, I can maybe put more of this ephemera. Let's see what a wonderful world it is. Uh dreams of faraway places and daring adventures or collect beautiful moments i think i'll put the collect beautiful moments on this yeah so we just winged it and we had a great time i mean we didn't have trouble finding vacancies every place had vacancies and um the parks were you know they we were able to get into every place that we wanted to go. We drove through a lot of the national forests. Um, and uh, so we had no problems with reservations or getting into the parks because um, a lot of the videos that we watched regarding trips were saying how the parks were overcrowded and this and that. So we thought that was going to be a problem, but it really wasn't. So we had a good time. Oh, I like this. No. Do I like this here or do I like this here? I think I like this here. It says the great outdoors. I like that it has the trees. And this page has the trees. I don't want to overwhelm the pages with a lot of stuff, so I think this is enough. And then this one says little moments, big memories. Um, I don't know what to put here. Little moments, big memories. Dreams of faraway places and daring adventures. I mean, there's the, the, this, uh, these layouts didn't really leave you much room for, um, you know, for being creative with how you lay things out. It's all straight or it doesn't fit or I don't know. Maybe adventure awaits, little moments, big memories. Dreams of faraway places and daring adventures. I think I'll go with that. And so, um, I was limited as to what I could bring with me 
so possibly what I'll do is when I get home I'll add maybe some uh, ephemera stuff and this is Arizona but there's other stuff in here that I think uh, would fit for instance the camera that's in here let's see yeah I like this here I think I'll put the backpack here too the little backpack jazz that up a bit what a wonderful world it is collect beautiful memories um, there were no cactuses that we saw in Colorado. This is all Grand Canyon specific. Uh, let's see. Is there anything that we can put here? Let me see. Maybe, oh, we did definitely see lizards in the Grand Canyon. So when I do that video, I'll be using him, the, the cactuses. We only saw one type of cactus. I was really looking forward to um, seeing the saguaro cactuses, but we didn't see any. Um, anyway, so that's all I'm gonna use from there, I think. Let me see. Explore. Maybe I'll put the binoculars. Nah. So I'll leave it at that. And like I said, I'm gonna um, add something here, uh, a picture. I just have to find the right one because I only printed um, certain pictures and I didn't print any of the pictures that were on my husband's phone. So. Um, but valuable lesson learned if you take a trip like this do not rely on your cell phone cameras the potential to take so much better pictures was there and we just didn't have the right equipment so we're definitely gonna um, invest in a good quality um, camera for the next time we go and I would highly recommend that if you, you're planning a trip like this anytime soon or in the future, definitely get yourself a good camera. Because I, you know, the quality of the pictures we took were nice, but I, I think the lighting could have been better in some of them. And um, yeah, so get yourself a good camera. So this, these, this is what I did. I'll probably um, also print some smaller pictures maybe, I don't know, little like thumbnail type size pictures and maybe put one or two on these pages. And um, yeah, so this is what I put together for Colorado. And uh, let me see if I can show you a quick, uh, kind of recap of some of the pictures we took a lot of snow-capped mountains it was beautiful snow caps pine trees they were so tall I mean these pictures don't even do it justice because they were so tall and then this was like some old um, mining uh, an old mining bridge these trees must have been 50, 60, 80 feet tall. I mean, they were huge. This one was in Ure, Colorado, Ure. It was beautiful there. They had hot springs, amazing. 
at that. My husband wants to move there. <laughs> I'm like, no way. We just moved three years ago to be closer to the grandkids. I'm not moving away from them now. So. Look at that. The landscape just changes. You know, you're in snow caps one minute, you're in desert the next. This is one of my favorites. I love it. So thanks for watching. And um, if you haven't already, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. It'll really help my channel. And I greatly appreciate it. Part three of my Crafting on the Go series will be featuring Utah, and I'll be posting that video within the next day or two. If you missed part one, I'll be putting a link to that video in the description box below. If you're new to my channel, I'll also be putting a link to my playlist in case you want to catch up on my other videos. Also, please make sure you watch this video to the end for a special message from my mascots, Milo and Lexi. Thanks for watching. Bye.